Hey everyone, it's time for the Urian Breakdown. Of course, this character is not complete yet, but we have more than enough information to have a rough idea of what he will be like when he is finally released. In this video, we will be going over his normals, specials, super, V-trigger, V-skill, and of course his V-reversal. So let's get started. First off, Urian has 1000 health and 1050 stun, so above average stun, but normal health. In terms of movement speed, Urian's walk speed seems quite average both walking forward and walking back, and as usual, walking back is slower than walking forward. His forward dash, however, seems faster than average. His back dash does seem average, but it does cover a good amount of distance. His jump doesn't cover much ground, but it's very high up in the air. And of course, we got Urian's taunt. Too bad it's not the same as Street Fighter 3. Alright, now looking at his forward throw and his back throw, it is called Spartan Bomb. Both forward and back throw share similar animations. Back throws give you enough time to charge back charge. Throw range is kind of bad, but that's the norm for Street Fighter V. Back throw leaves opponents at standing medium kick range, and forward throw leaves opponents just outside of it. Okay, moving on to normals now, let's start with standing light punch. It is a 4 frame startup and it's also cast below on hit and also links into itself, as well as crouching light punch and crouching light kick. Standing Medium Punch starts up in 6 frames and is also cancelable on hit. Links into Standing Light Punch and Crouching Light Punch. Now we're looking at Urian's Standing Hard Punch which starts up in 13 frames. This is Urian's only crush counter normal that's not a command normal. This normal can be charged by just holding down the Hard Punch button which will make it have more frame advantage when it hits the opponent allowing you to link normals such as Standing Medium Punch, Crouching Medium Punch and Crouching Medium Kick. This is also still a crush counter even when you charge it. The crush counter puts your opponent to a stun state, allowing you to combo after and they don't fall to the ground. Also, this normal cannot be special cancelled unless you charge it down. Okay, now, standing leg kick it starts up in 5 frames and it can be cancelled. Next up, standing medium kick. It starts up in 8 frames and it has pretty damn good range and honestly, this looks like Yurian's best poke. It looks like a souped up version of Karen's standing medium kick. Now we're looking at Urian's standing hard kick which starts up in 11 frames. This is similar to Urian's standing hard punch in which it has a special property where it can be charged by holding down the hard kick button. It has a great vertical hitbox and it can be used as an anti-air. If you charge it down and it hits the opponent when they're airborne, it will slam them to the ground. Also when charged, this normal becomes a double hitting overhead that leaves you plus 8 on hit. You can link it to standing medium punch, crouching medium punch or crouching medium kick if you're further away. Now let's talk about crouching normals, let's start with crouching light punch. It starts up in 4 frames and it's also cancelable. Now for crouching medium punch, it starts up in 6 frames and it's also cancelable. Moves forward and it links into standing light punch or crouching light punch. Now for Yurian's crouching hard punch, it starts up in 8 frames and is cancelable on the first and second hit, does 2 hits total, and it knocks your opponent up into a juggled state. There's a lot you can follow up with after his crouching hard punch and this is pretty much Yurian's go-to combo starter attack. Now moving on to Yurian's crouching light kick, hits low, starts up in 4 frames. Now for Yurian's crouching medium kick, it looks like a sweep but it doesn't knock the opponent down. Of course it still hits low. Starts up in 9 frames and I'm surprised that you can actually cancel from this considering how long range it is. Now we have his crouching hard kick, starts up at 11 frames and of course it is hella unsafe on block, knocks down the opponent and the range is absolutely insane. Another souped up version of Karen's crouching hard kick. Alright, jumping normals now. This is jumping light punch. And this is jumping light kick. This is now his jumping medium punch and is actually a pretty good air to air attack on the way up. And it leaves your opponent into a juggled state allowing you to follow up with stuff such as standing hard punch, tackle, critical guard or whatever. This is your his jumping medium kick and it seems to have the best horizontal range of all his jumping attacks. Moving on to his jumping hard punch, this has good vertical range, seems to be his go-to jumping attack. And finally we have his jumping hard kick, decent horizontal and vertical range. Now in case you guys haven't noticed, it seems that Yurian has no cross-up attacks in Street Fighter V. Leaving only him and Balrog with the only characters in the game so far with no cross-up attacks. Alright, let's look at Yurian's command normals now. Let's start with forward medium punch. This starts up in 7 frames and it is cancelable. It's a decent poke and a really good anti-air for far jumps. Has a great hitbox. Now we have forward hard punch. This is an overhead attack. It has decent range and damage and is minus 4 on block. And you cannot V-trigger cancel from it. 
Finally, we have Back Hard Kick. This starts off in 15 frames and it is a big step kick that moves Yurian forward a bit. It is also Yurian's second crush counter that causes a crumple stage when it hits the opponent, leaving them falling on the ground. Conveniently, it's a back command normal, allowing Yurian to maintain his charge while moving forward. Okay, so Yurian has two target combos. First off, we got Standing Light Punch into Standing Medium Punch. This is special cancelable and is a 4 frame conversion to a medium. Now his second target combo is forward medium punch into forward hard punch. This moves Yurian forward and ends with an overhead attack that can be V-Trigger cancelled. Alright, let's talk about special moves now. Let's start with Metallic Sphere. This is done with core circle forward and punch. The light punch version is a slow projectile attack, whereas the medium punch version is much faster. The hard punch version is an anti-air projectile attack. All three versions deal 60 damage and can be charged, increasing the damage to 90 as well as the chip and stun. The fully charged up versions do a total of 2 hits, allowing you to fight back against your opponent's projectile attacks, and if you land the anti-air version of the fireball, it puts your opponent into a juggled state, allowing you to combo afterwards. Now for the EX version of his fireball, there are three different variations. First, if you press light punch and medium punch at the same time, it fires the slow version of the EX fireball. Pressing light punch and hard punch at the same time fires the fast version of the fireball. And finally, pressing medium punch and hard punch at the same time fires the anti-air version of the EX fireball. All are double hitting. And they can also be charged just like their normal versions, which gives it an extra hit for a total of three hits. Next special is Chariot Tackle. This is done by charging back and then pressing forward and kick. The strength you use determines the distance that it travels. They all leave the opponent standing except for the hard kick version which knocks them down. 70, 80, and 90 damage. All versions also have juggle potential and can juggle off of stuff such as Metallic Sphere. Pretty much Yurian's combo filler and combo ender. Now we're looking at Yurian's EX version of his tackle. It comes out pretty fast, does 150 damage, and of course it knocks down. It seems to also have increased juggle potential and does multiple hits. Moving on to Dangerous Headbutt. This is done by charging down and then pressing up and punch. Similar to the tackle, the light punch and medium punch versions do not knock down the opponent, but the hard punch version does. The strength determines the distance it travels. The damage is 100 to 110 to 120, and it goes over crouching opponents. Now for the EX version, it comes out really fast and it is completely invincible, allowing you to use this as a reversal attack. Because it's fully invincible, it is of course counter hit on recovery, allowing the opponent to crush counter punish you. Also, don't worry if the opponent is crouching, the EX version does hit crouching opponents. This only does 80 damage, but you can juggle off of it, such as Light Kick and EX Cherry Attack. This is also Yurian's best anti-air because of course it's fully invincible. Finally, we have Violence Knee Drop. This is done by charging down and then pressing up and kick. As usual, the distance is determined by the strength that you use. This is also an overhead attack and knocks the opponent down on all three versions. Now we're looking at the EX version. The EX version does not track the opponent. You have to use left and right and steer it. It does 160 damage while the normal ones do 130 damage and for some reason the EX version is safe on block. Now we're looking at Yurian's Critical Art. This is a great vertical hitbox and has a decent startup. It definitely works as an anti-air and is also a combo ender. Can cancel off a Chariot Tackle but not any other special move. It is of course invincible on startup just like any other Critical Art. There is a lot of evidence proving that Yurian actually burns his clothes off after doing this Critical Art and that's what puts him into Undies mode. Now let's talk about Yurian's V system. Let's start with his V Reversal. This is done by blocking and pressing forward and three punch buttons, and it causes a knockdown. Now let's talk about Yurian's V skill. Yurian's V skill gives him increased properties on his next special move, excluding Metallic Sphere. His next move now has armor from frame 1, allowing all of his specials to become reversal attacks, and it also consumes the V skill buff even on whiff or on block. You can tell when the V-Skill buff is active because Yurian's skin color changes, and you also gain V-Gage even when you whiff the attack. As long as you consume the buff, you will gain V-Gage, and of course you'll get bonus V-Gage if you actually hit your opponent with the attack. This will have a ton of uses, of course, giving Yurian's special moves armor, especially on frame 1, which is pretty unique, and it allows him to use his Cherry Attack, for example, to go through projectiles and advance forward. 
Finally, we have Yurian's V Trigger, the Aegis Reflector. There's two parts to this V Trigger. The first is the initial activation, which freezes the screen and throws out one reflector, and then Yurian has a passive timer that ticks down. You can throw one more additional reflector, and you can have two on the screen at once. The reflector itself does up to three hits before it shatters and disappears off the screen. It also reflects projectiles back to the opponent, even supers. There are three different distances you can throw the reflector. Pressing V-Trigger while holding neutral will throw the reflector far away from Yurian, whereas holding back in V-Trigger will throw the reflector very close to Yurian, and then holding down and pressing V-Trigger will throw the reflector above and close to Yurian. Yurian is able to fully move around while the Aegis Reflector is on the screen, and you can V-Trigger cancel this from EX Metallic Sphere as well as an EX Chariot Tackle. The uses for this V-Trigger is pretty endless, it is a huge mix-up tool, huge pressure tool, it can be used in many ways, you have an active hitbox on the screen, and it's pretty much just up to your imagination on what you can do with it. I'm pretty happy what Capcom has done with this V-Trigger, how they designed it and kept it true to a Street Fighter 3 version, it is also a 3 bar V-Gauge as well. And that about wraps it up guys, that is Yurian in a nutshell. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and keep in mind that this is an unfinished character so everything is subject to change. But I'll of course keep you guys updated on my channel if anything huge happens before his release. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, I hope you guys have learned something from this and I'll see you guys in the jury breakdown coming up soon. Peace guys.